This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to activate an existing array after replacing a SAS 5 IR RAID controller in a PowerEdge 840 server. So if you have already replaced your SAS 5 IR controller uh, because of numerous reasons, maybe you had a blown capacitor on it, uh, maybe it's just failing to boot or you're getting a PCIe training error, um, you'll want to watch this video because it's going to show you how to activate the existing array so you can boot up to your operating system uh, like you did with your previous card that had already failed. Um, so, um, but before we get to the video, um, in the in the description of this video, we are going to post our PowerEdge 840 parts guide. So if you do have a PowerEdge 840, which is a very common server that would have this card installed, um, check out this page. It'll show you a whole bunch of awesome upgrade ideas as well as uh, all the replacement part numbers. Um, and videos on how to install almost every component you can think of in the Power J40 server. Um, so check this page out, bookmark it, uh, use it as a resource, um, and it should be very, very helpful to you for as long as you keep your Power J40 server. So let's get to um, how to actually activate our existing array. So what you're going to see here is this is post. Uh, this is the black screen when you turn your Power J40 server on, and our RAID controller is initializing. And once it initializes, um, we are going to see that it's going to say that we have an inactive array. Um, so this is what will happen after you replace your RAID controller, which is actually good because then we know the RAID controller is actually working. It's responding. It's seeing drives. All right, so we're going to hit Control-C to go into the SAS configuration utility um, because it says it is inactive or op not optimal. So we're going to go into the RAID utility, and we're going to show you how to activate that existing array um, so we can, we can boot up like normal and uh, make sure our server is happy. So this will take a little bit of time after you hit Control-C. Um, once we get into the RAID utility, hit Enter on the SAS 1068, then arrow down to RAID Properties, and hit Enter. Now we're going to see that it says Drive Status Inactive, so hit Enter on Manage Array. And then we're going to go down and just hit enter on activate array. Okay, so once you do this, it'll prompt you. You're going to say yes, why to activate array. And now what it's going to do is it's going to simulate so, something similar to what it would do if there was a failed drive. Um, so it's going to find one of the drives in the RAID 0. And we're going to go back into RAID properties and show you this. We're going to go in and view existing array. And right now, it's basically synchronizing our array. And so this will take a while. Um, just leave the system on. You can actually boot up into Windows or whatever you have loaded for your operating system at this point, And it will synchronize in the background. It's going to kill your throughput for a little while. But once it finishes synchronizing, and, and, and that depends on you know how large capacity drives you have installed, but once it finishes, you'll get all of your throughput back and, and the server will be happy like normal. Um, so that's pretty much how you replace a, well, how you activate your existing array after replacing a SAS 5 IR controller. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to our channel. Um, and thank you so much for watching.